Takeya Mizuka. His focus in 2016 will be the Ultra Man Funk Master Story. 37th professional fight for the third day performance of the night bonus back in May of 2014. You know, he has had, I don't expect the layoff to be a massive factor as it might be for other fighters. No, and he had Jose Aldo the entire step of the way. There's a ton of athletes there to face Aljamain Sterling. This is the guy who doesn't use a whole lot of footwork, feet, or jaw to be careful with what he throws at this young man because his counters, just like we saw in the Fought three times in one night in both 1997 and 1998, three days later. So this is a guy who has so much vibe. Two years off from May of 2012 to May of 2014. C division. You can ask his previous opponents about that. <laughs> 50 favorites tonight. Al Jermaine Stone. That says a lot. Take very controlled partners, but said he was having difficulty with the train. He was too concerned with his opponent's punches to really sit down on his own con who may force him to strike a little bit more than what we've seen in his last fight against position when he gets you down. He takes the back very well in the orthodox. He's one of the few guys that will tell you straight up, I use my kick throw. He said of his opponent, Johnny Eduardo, he's great, great at getting injured hard. <laughs> well, he did say on tape, he's slightly he believes too hard, and that's going to create some opportunities for Aljamain's combinations. So if there's been one knock on Aljamain Sterling, it's just been the volume that they're having. For the tail of the tape, two of the top ten Bantamweights, Eduardo, both men five foot seven inches tall, and the similarities. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Seven wins, nine losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in. Bantamweight contender in the world! Johnny the Corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. On a Union Day New York, presenting the number five right there. And when the action begins, our referee in charge. Blair, thank you very much. Here we go, round one. Go towards the top, stand in each other's way tonight. After that touch of the glove. Immediately you can see. Aljamain, the big X factor in this fight is just a pure athleticism. I think you're going to reverse position, get on top of him. He scrambles and beats you to it. Johnny Eduardo leg kick. Sterling, a two-time division, and has not looked back when it comes to his MMA career. 11 and 0. Stance is frequently not really allowing Eduardo to get. And keep an eye on the improvements he's made. Obviously, training a lot more with him, getting you know, wearing those smaller gloves in the octagon. It'll be interesting to see. Right now, he's taking the center of the octagon intelligently, and that shows you how concerned he is with the knee. And submissions for Johnny Eduardo as he eludes that head kick offering from Sterling. But what you see in a lot of Sterling's fights are when guys come forward and throw common, little hesitant right now, looking to counter primarily. No one yell. No one to have excellent takedown defense. Attempt is there for Aljamain Sterling. And big mistake already made. game of Aljamain Sterling. You're starting from a huge deficit. Sterling came in landing more than three and a half takedowns per 15 minute fight against Hugo Viana and Takeya Mizugaki. And he does a great job. He puts so much jockey fight. He was pushing too much, and the arm triangle was there. You can hear Matt Sarah. Very good. Keep no way to the threat of the guillotine, but he's got to generate some space. Now he's got a chance. Nice left. As he's able to land the right hand. And, and you know, you talked about John Jones a little bit. Guys can posture that high up when they're on top of you and still reach you with a butterfly hook. He's got a left under hook. He should be able to rock a little bit here by Sterling, who's already starting to threat, threaten with a guillotine. But Eduardo's back. Beautiful round. Beautiful. Very good. He's going to get a little desperate because he doesn't want to be down there and breathe. Well timed. Nice, well timed. You know, if you could put a little sun of yourself, come on, sun, that's it. It's all about feeling good right now, buddy. It is UFC 194 from the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Against that man, Aljamain Sterling. Ready, ready, let's go. It's a little bit more offensive. But I am sure those takedowns are on his mind because he had a really, really high. The odds makers, a plus 425 underdog here tonight, but given that back at some of the division's best. Well, and this is what he does. This is how he creates a guy that's going to come out there and immediately threaten for a finish in round right. one. But he does a little more impressive. Yeah, and I mean, he's using his kicks. He's staying very long. I mean, he eats a nice inside leg kick. 
forward a little bit. But he wants to be big. Too much of one strike at a time from Sterling. Mixing his feet and his hands. But what it is doing... One belts at 35 and 45. Now trying to move it. Everybody kicks like that out of the gym. Johnny Edward a little bit returns with a nice low kick of his own. Now they're starting. to see him really open up. And he used some of it. And again, now he's flat on his back. Ooh, heavy elbow. He took on Hugo Viana. I mean, he got him down, pressured him over a while. Those strikes has opened up Johnny Eduardo. So Sterling getting the ground and pound. Turn a little bit, creates some space. But he stopped midway through. He's got to... Statement made by Aljo. Pound. Just Eduardo was creating some space. He reaches over to set this up. Steps over in his grappling game with integrated strikes, passing. Sterling, once it's official, he will have moved to 4-0 and in the U era. It, he's just so tough on top that he makes guys oh, get deaf. You know, a lot of pressure on this young man. He puts a lot of it and brings a lot of it on him. UFC Bantamweight division. All right, the official decision is in. It re Four minutes, 18 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner. Field. I'm gonna pull Mayweather out of retirement. Tough opponent tonight in Johnny Eduardo. Overall assess. Traditional Muay Thai, very good stud. Been around the game for a long time. And I, I work hard, we bust our ass every single day. Every single day. Why me? Take a look at the finish. Can you set it up for us and ultimately the choke that got? We're looking for next. All day, every day. You leave your neck out there, I'm gonna freak you. Boy, my man, ladies and gentlemen, the funk master, Al Jermaine Stur